Thank you, Ben. This morning, several United States military veterans are participating in an honor flight. King's Jordan Shefty is live at Mid Continent Airport as we prepare to send the veterans off to Washington, D.C. Good morning. Good Mike and Jamel, we are here at Mid Continent Airport to bid farewell to a number of veterans as they embark on the honor flight. You can see a number of them are here getting checked in to head out on their flight. This is the fifth honor flight in Kansas, and the organizer of trip tells me that they have six more planned this summer. He says that for the number of World War II veterans that they have up to go on these trips, they should be able to get through all of the World War II veterans this summer. So that is great news. They're heading out to Washington, D.C. to view the memorials that are out there. A great trip for these uh, veterans to honor their service for our country. They are leaving at 625 this morning, and the trip is completely funded by the public, people that give money so that they have this opportunity. It's about $700 per person to go on this trip. Each veteran is accompanied by uh, one to help them get through. So it's a great, great thing for these people to get out there and, and view those memorials that are honoring them. They leave again at 625. They will return on Friday at about 430 in the afternoon, and the public is invited to come and welcome them home. Reporting live from Mid-Continent Airport, Jordan Shefty, Cake News. Honor Flight of Kansas has a goal of getting all Kansas World War II veterans flown out to Washington, D.C. by the end of the summer. Today, they move one step closer by giving 24 deserving vets the trip of a lifetime. Gigs Jordan Shefty tells us how this flight was all about a bond between brothers. 24 veterans boarded a plane this morning to head to Washington, D.C. to view memorials built in their honor. Well, I'm a survivor. Ed Overstake says he'll never forget his time serving in World War II, but a trip over the next couple of days will make those memories stronger than ever. It's going to relive for me uh, some of the experiences that we think about every day. He and 23 other veterans boarded the honor flight, a trip free of charge for them to go see the memorials in Washington, D.C. The cost of the flight, about $700 per veteran, is funded by public donations as a salute to their service. Probably the most moving part, it's great to see their World War II memorial in our nation's capital. What is fantastic is how the public greets them. That public support was evident at Mid-Continent this morning as the veterans made their way to the boarding gate. They were were greeted by applause. This honor flight is a family affair. Brothers Eddie Graham, a Bataan Death March survivor, and Don Graham, a Korean War veteran, are making the trip. It'd be wonderful to be out there, especially together. And four generations were present to bid for two veteran Andrew Hoheisel farewell. He just inspires me to do, do stuff. But even if family wasn't present with the veterans, they say being together is like being reunited with brothers. Well, we have a fraternity that's, that's deeper than the genes and deeper than the blood because of the experiences that we've had together. We're all family. Jordan Shefty, Cake News.